I brought the White Ribbon campaign to campus in 2006, uh, I believe it was. It is an international campaign. It's based out of Canada. It's men working to end men's violence against women. I actually did the White Ribbon campaign as an undergrad with my okay. fraternity. Um, and when I came here and uh, didn't see a whole lot of effort being put into things uh, to educate men around issues of uh, sexual assault and relationship violence, there was Take Back the Night when I first started here, and that was it. And so I wanted to do something that was geared towards educating the men. Three years ago, uh, 2000. Yeah, 2013, about. Um, we brought, we had decided to come up with this idea during the summer, during our retreat, to have this 5K run. Um, and so what we did is we took the normal um, route around campus from other 5Ks and kind of made it so we didn't have to cross major roads and use it to raise money for our, our partner, Safe Harbor. Um, for the race um, in year one, uh, we had just over 50 runners. Last year we had. Uh, about 110, 112. Um, this year we've kind of gone back a little bit. We have 60 some odd runners, so it's a little uh, disappointing to see the numbers dip a little bit, but we'll see how things uh, work out in the future. There's a top male student finisher, the top female student finisher, and then top male and top female staff or faculty finisher, and then there's the one miler um, finisher. I mean, we're really excited. We really love the event, and it's really nice to have the students come out and raise money. Everyone that's done it uh, has enjoyed it. Um, Every year, like I said, the course changes, but people still enjoy it. Um, it was a beautiful day. Couldn't have asked for better weather, and it felt great to run. Did come in last place, but it was awesome, and um, really happy that we all came out and supported a great cause. Yeah!